Hello everyone, I'm gonna show you how I make a baby carriage. So I have a foam ball which I cut in half and it's about uh, four and a half inches in diameter. Uh, so now I'm gonna cut the sides of the ball. I'm gonna use my knife and I'm gonna cut it. I'm just gonna cut the sides probably um, just a little bit. If I need to cut more, so you can always cut more. I'm gonna cut about the same size. same on both sides. So this is what I have right now. And right now to make sure that my fondant gonna stick to the bowl, I'm gonna put just a little frosting on my styrofoam. Just a tiny little. If you would like, you can also, uh, instead of styrofoam, you can use a rice krispies. If you want all your stuff to be edible. So I frosted my ball with the icing. Now I have a fondant. So if I have an ivory, if you have, that's what I need. And if you have a different color, like blue or pink, I think that would be even better. So it's kind of thick because um, I want to cover uh, all the styrofoam have some like a small, tiny, um, tiny like dots on it. So I want to cover it. I'm gonna put it over my styrofoam and smooth it so this is the shape I got I'm gonna use my smoother I'm just gonna cut it around. And now I'm gonna put this inside. Just like this. Let it dry if you would like. Make sure it's nice and smooth everywhere. And now we're gonna use the white fondant. So I'm gonna roll my fondant. So right now I put my um, baby carriage that would be on a foam because I don't want too many indents because it's still fresh. And I'm going to cut uh, three pieces of wire. They can be same or can be a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller because we're going to put them in and see how it works. So this is what I have. Should be strong enough to hold the fondant. Now I'm going to bend each of them it's about the same I want them to look about the same something like this and I'm gonna put them in in the foam insert it in the foam I 
to fix the shape. The next one. Next to it. Just like this. I think I want this one to be the tallest one. put the last one just like this wanna make sure that they all look good so and now I'm gonna put my fondant on the top So I forgot um, to put the blanket first, so I cut the piece uh, to match the baby carriage. Now I have to take this out and put the blanket. So if you're gonna make a baby carriage, don't forget to do that. Just put it back. I also made a um, little pillow and now we're gonna make the top so we're gonna make it white because this is the color I need so I got my fondant I roll it not very thin, so then I'm gonna cut the circle. Try to cut this circle, but it's too small, so it's gonna be bigger than that. And I can cut later whatever I don't need. I'm gonna cut the bottom flat. to be here nice and even now we're gonna measure if it fits properly it's too big the piece and measure again it's still too big so I have to cut another piece so this is the shape I came off of and I used uh, my little cutter to give it like a little ruffle on the side um, I know it's not perfect shape but I can cut it the excess that I don't need so I put a little water that it gonna stick I'm trying to put like in the middle and shape it give it a shape just like this and the sides it's not sticking and I'm gonna cut the sides gonna do the same on the other side just cut it and now we're gonna try to glue it it's still too big on this side so I can cut a little bit more Make 
sure it sticks. And on the other side, I think it's still too big on the other side also. So just like this. And now we're gonna give it the right shape. Gonna go with my fingers and do the shape I like. So now to hide all the stuff that um, I connected, connected fondant, I gonna do, I'm gonna use my cutter and I'm gonna cut a circle. Like this just a circle and now we're gonna get my another circle cutter and just use the round actually it's too big gonna use this one a little bit smaller and just to cut the circle And I'm gonna use this part here. This one a little uneven. Just gonna cut it. So this is what I have. Gonna cut a little here because it's to be cut a little bit more. And on this side a little bit. So and now I'm gonna glue it to the carriage. To hide all that stuff that I don't like. So I already have a water. So it sticks pretty good. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So I will need one more piece to finish the back. So I am done with my ruffles and I decided to put uh, one on the top because I think it's cuter. And now I'm going to make a handle. So for a handle I'm just using a piece of wire and I'm going to put inside the foam. And for wheels, I'm gonna put wheels when the baby carriage is gonna be on a cake. So we're just gonna glue it. It's gonna be something like this, but I want it to let it dry first. So and I will show you when it's done. So now to make a baby, I'm using a first impression mold. Um, I'm using fondant. I know some people are using gum paste on fondant. I like to use fondant, it's fine for me. So I'm trying to mimic the shape of the baby. So first you have to make sure there is no creases um, on the side where the baby face and body gonna be. So when I gonna push the fondant inside the mold, I'm gonna cut the piece, it's too much. And I'm gonna make sure that fill all the gaps, the cavities. So after I'm done, I'm gonna put it in the freezer. 
I like to leave it, some people say like a minute or two, I like to leave it for about like 10 minutes when it's like, uh, when it's a little bit hard, so it's much easier to take it out the mold. gonna clean so it's gonna be good impression good quality and I'm gonna put it in the freezer and I'll come back and I'll show you how I take it out so now I got my old mold out of the fridge so it's thick uh, I mean uh, it's uh, pretty much like frozen so I'm gonna take it out the mold it's not like completely frozen. I'm gonna loosen it first. Then I'm gonna try to get the head out. And the baby. It's really easy because it's almost frozen but not all the way. So this is the baby. And here's a cake. So I'm done with the baby carriage. And the baby inside. So thank you for watching.